Okay, so you guys use the on the quiz, you guys use shortest route, you guys use simplest route. Guys, the textbook word you want to use is efficient route. Okay. So let's let's look at this. After storm, a health department worker inspects all the houses of a small village to check for damage. Wait. Number two, well, we got to figure out which one of these situations which would be desirable to set up an auto circuit on. Number two, a veteran is planning to visit all the war memorials in Washington, D.C. and lots of route to follow. We're just thinking one. We're just thinking one. We can pick two. Let's think about what we're going to talk about this. A street department employee must check the traffic signals at each intersection in a downtown area to be certain that they are working. I think it's Okay. So you guys should have an idea. You guys should have an answer. Uh, fourth one, an employee of a power company reads the electric meters outside each house along the streets in a residential area. This was something they actually did. Back in the 80s, you would have water meter readers would walk around and then read your water meter on the edge of your house. And then, and then what they do, they would give you an estimated bill throughout the year. And then it would come out with a water meter reader and they would actually write down that usage and they would post it on your door and you would either get a credit or you would get a bill from the water department. Okay, that's what happened before the internet. So which one of these four sounds like something that would be efficient to use in other circuit on? Four and one? Two and three? Two and three. You guys see there's, there's more than one possible answer? Yeah. Well, we can be all of them. For the first one, I mean, this is a really big deal. After a storm, you got a health department worker who's got to go out and inspect the houses to make sure they're safe to be inhabitable in. Because if they're not, if they don't have running water, if there's some issue of backup, there's some raw sewage, that's not safe. You can make that raw sewage can make you sick. So the problem with number one, and it doesn't tell me how many, yeah. it's a small village. So I would say uh, maybe. Maybe that's a possibility. I don't really think it's likely. How about number two? A veteran plans to visit the war memorials in Washington, D.C. Anybody been to Washington, D.C.? No. How many war memorials are there? Are there? Well, how many wars have there been? There's been the Spanish American War. There's been World War I. There's been World War II. We've had the Korean War. We had Vietnam War. We had Afghanistan where we had we had a desert. There was an invasion when Iraq invaded uh, Kuwait. That was the first desert desert storm. And we had Afghanistan, and then we had Iraq. So what? We have eight, maybe war memorials, and then oh, oh we got a two hundred one year old soldier in uh, in Arlington Cemetery. So maybe we got nine or ten war memorials. Is that a lot? Yes. Well, if you want to if you want to squeeze it in one day, it's probably a lot. But you're on vacation. So I, I would say maybe, probably not. Um, but look at this. If you have a street employee that needs to check all the traffic signals at an intersection downtown, how many intersections are there downtown? We like a gazillion. I think we have, in Houston, we have all these little localized downtown areas with the high rises. I think mean, that would probably be pretty important to have an oilerized circuit an oilerized path to efficiently move and check those intersections that all the traffic lights are working. Number four, definitely. I mean, employee is reading electric meters. I mean, there's millions of houses in Houston. You got you got to efficiently travel through those neighborhoods to read those meters. One person's not going to do it. So I would say yes to three and four, maybe one and two, maybe. Yeah, what be private property, Mr. Jones? What's that? Yeah, what be private property? If somebody went on your house, if they were working at the water meter. You know what? The water meter, the, the line going to and from the water meter is not private property. It belongs to the water company. Even though if it, if it breaks, there's some parts of it that they don't cover. Um, you, 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 you should go to debate. So know that, that you can justify these answers. And it's about the process. So number two, you got a graph. And it's asking, in order to oilerize the graph below, give the fewest number of edges that need to be added to or duplicated. Okay. So when I oilerize a graph, what am I looking for? Um, you have to make sure that none of the edges are in for the vertices. 
Right, you're looking for vertices that have an odd balance. But if we have an odd balance, what? We can't do an Euler circuit. So you have four vertices with an odd balance. Well, which one are they, Matthew? So on the first row, there's two middle ones. So that, is that it? Just those two? First row? No. And then the second row, the, right there. And then the bottom. And then the very bottom, last one there. All right, so those are vertices that have an odd balance. How do we fix them? We make the lines. Yeah, we polarize it. We draw an edge between them. Look at that. That's all this is asking us. It's just asking us to polarize the graph. We just did. That's it. Not asking us to squeeze that graph into a, squeeze those edges into another graph or find another circuit. It's just telling us to polarize the graph. Make sense? Number three, another natural disaster. Flood. We just had a hurricane. Was it Ida that hit Louisiana? Tornado. Guys, the federal government and local and state government, they have to respond to these situations as efficiently as possible. So for which situation here would an Euler circuit be efficient? See that word? Efficient. We want, we want these circuits to be efficient. It's not about shortest distance, but not about the fewest or simplest. It's, it's, it's about being efficient. That's the textbook word you guys want to use. So let's look at this. The first one, we're going to rank these. Okay. So relief food supplies must be delivered to aid emergency shelters located at different sites in the water city. Well, if the Ida came through, they kind of wiped, wiped this landscape clean of houses. What used to be in your pantry is no longer there anymore. You got nothing to eat. B, the Department of Public Works must inspect traffic lights at intersections in the city to determine one, which ones are still working. Um, C, an insurance claims adjuster must visit 10 homes in various neighborhoods to write reports. Last one, the Department of Public Works must inspect all streets in the city to remove dangerous debris. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna rank these. So what happens when a hurricane comes ashore? It wipes out the infrastructure, it, it, infrastructure right? It, it, it blows out all the, uh, all your supply chain connections. Supply chain is, is like, you got a grocery store that, that, that has a supplier that, that brings them soda and goods that can be sold out, out the door. Uh, gas station, you, you pump up, you pump up your fuel. Well, big gas trucks got to come in and replenish that gas station fuel that it sells. So when you have a hurricane like Ida come through, you saw all these lines for people at the gas station because there was no gas to be given out. If there's no gas to be given out, how the how are these trucks going to make their deliveries? So, so are you going to be able to find food? It's like what happened. What happened when we when COVID first started? We got how many how many how many ran out of toilet paper? I mean, you saw people you saw it on the on the news. People were hoarding toilet paper. I went to went to Kroger's, went to Costco. There's no water, no no toilet paper on the shelves. People were buying overbuying what what was projected, and so the supply chain was was affected. It was being broken because people were not. Consuming at at, 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 a, at their normal consumption rate, they, they were worried about running out of toilet paper. Really? So, which one of these is the most important? You think? Yeah, food. You got emergency shelters. You got if a hurricane comes through, you you just lost your house. Where are you going to stay? What are you going to eat? Absolutely. This is the most important right there. Food and the survival and well being of, of the, the people that, that, that made it through the hurricane, right? Or tornado. What, ne what next sounds, sounds important? What would you think, number two, B? What do you think, Kyle? Got your list there. This is number three. Uh, probably B? No. Department of Public Works, you want to make sure those traffic lights are working? I There's nobody said, driving around. That's I, do, I said D. You said D? I said D. Okay, D, maybe. Because what, 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 what could be dangerous in the streets? What could be dangerous in, in, in your cities? Wires. 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 Live wires. The thing is like 
So if you got if you got power yeah. lines down, I mean you do have a lot of wire there. Yeah, you got to take care of that. Yeah. So, so three and four. And three is C. Three is C. Why 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 is C? Why? Three is B. Three is B. Yeah. Yeah. Why why Matthew? Uh, oh, because you gotta get the, gotta get the streets running again. You gotta get the streets running just like the water. You just gotta get traffic out there. Where do they go? The streets aren't running. That's true. Do you guys know that? Do you guys see here that three and four is kind of a toss up? If you justify, if you give me a justification or reason why you think three or why 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 B is three and and C is four. You can you can justify your answer. It's it's best answer, okay? It's not. It's, that's why it's about we're talking about the process. It's like city councils, city hall. I mean, communities. This is how they work. They try to prioritize what needs to happen after a, a big storm like this. Does this sound like fun? It sounds pretty important. It sounds like a pretty important job. Something that. The guy, the guy doing it, got to be pretty good at. It. All right, second page. So here we got a gridded graph, number four. Which one of these shows the best polarization of the gridded graph? We think. Uh, which one is it? We're on page two, Kyle. Come on, boy, there. Is it B? B D. D, D is it? No, yeah. It's not, why not? Is it is? That's what I would Yeah, because you Andrew thinks it's D too. Why do you think it's D? You don't know. You just you're just a party. You just follow it? No, I find it. Oh no, it's D. Why is it D? Because it's the only one that makes it all even and the other one's like. Did you hear that? D, graph D is the only one that makes all the vertices balances even. Okay, look, you got you got odd balances there. They didn't fix it. They did two edges here. This is still odd. And what in the world are they doing on the interior here? There's nothing wrong with those grids in there. There's nothing wrong with those vertices inside that gritty graph. They're, they're already they're already even. You're not, you're not gonna mess. On the interior of those good graphs. So D is right. D is right. How about this? Number five. Which of the graphs below have an other circus? Not here. So, what do we need to it's have an other circus? It's number one. Number one? Because that's the only one with all even valence. The other one, the one at the top is three. Matthew, what do we need to get an other circuit? Uh, we need two things. Uh, we need all vertices with even balance. That's number one. What's the other one? It has to be a connected graph. Those are the two things we need. Okay. So do we have that here? This is well, it's definitely connected. Are all the vertices? Are they, all the vertices have an even balance? Yeah, they do. So uh, this is this, this one works. What about this one? What's wrong with this one? It's literally that one has a top. It has three seats. Yeah, all it takes is one yeah. to disconnect it to, to disqualify it. Now it has four vertices that have an odd balance. Exactly. All right, so number one is your answer. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you. All right, we had this question in one of the notes, one of the, on one of the notes page. Yeah. Think about this. You have six cities. Six cities are like, are like vertices. And the roads among them is not connected. So it's just, it's a disconnected, it's a disconnected graph, right? And there's a disconnected graph. There's only one possible scenario of a disconnected graph. Now, what, what is the possible reason in real world terms why is the disconnected graph? Any idea? What'd you guys, you guys remember what you came up with? You guys remember this day? This was, this was September 1st or September 2nd. Do you got this? I do. You got this? I have. You got the answer? No, I just have what you written down. What are talking about? Okay. What's my reason here? What, what, why is this a disconnected graph? We don't have rows going to all the cities. What's that? It's an island. These two cities over here could be on an island. 
And so there's no road like connecting it to the, to, to the motherland, okay? Or it could be the top of a mountain, okay? There's some geographical obstacle that's preventing a road from getting built. Make sense? All right. Next one, number seven. <laughs> guys, you, you had this question on the last quiz. You guys did this pretty well. So you have four vertices. A, B, C, D. So, so A and D has a balance of three. What does that mean? All right, solve this one. Solve number eight for me. Draw your four vertices. A, vertex A and D have have a balance of three. So that means there's three edges emanating from A and D. So, so, so show, me, show me a picture. Number number seven. Okay. Give, me, give me that one. You guys can do this. You guys know this. Number seven. I got four vertices. A, B, C, D. Number seven right here. Come on out here. Oh, look at you. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Can I wake you up? Would you do this in your sleep? Abby's got it. Teresa's got it. Gio doesn't got it. You're just looking right your phone. Come on, we got a test tomorrow. Matthew got it. So A has three. A and B have three. Oh, A and B. Oh, A and B. Wait, what? So, you guys were able to do this on your quiz. So, A and D each have three, right? So, they have three. That's one of them. Is this right? Um, oh. No, there's more than one way. So you can do it this way, too. If A is across from B, then it's like this. No, that's not how I did it. You can do it this way, Wait, too. Okay, draw a you can do it this way, too. No. There's two possible answers. No. And depending on how you learn answer your vertices, <laughs> it's, 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 it depends. Can you, can you, you got this? Is that a trick for me? No, I'm going to show you something. Is that right? 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 All right. Number eight. All right. The boy band's going to answer this. Matthew, why is number eight? Why, why is this not an oiler circuit? Is it on balance? Well, they're asking us why the path is of not an oiler circuit. Well, look at let's retrace the path. What's going on with the path? Two, three. Four. You, you, you missed it. You missed it at an edge. That's what they're looking for. That's the obvious one. Yeah, then there are. Versus with an odd balance, but the fact is they missed an entire edge. That is the reason. That's a good explanation. You guys catch that? They did not cover this bottom edge. And the collar, as being on the circuit, all edges have to be covered one time and only one time. All right, that's that's page two. That's the bottom of page two. Can I answer the next one? Yes. Really? Show, show me what it is. So is this a, can we can we do another circuit? No, it's not connected. Did you hear that? Remember to have another circuit, you have to have vertices with really a needed balance, and we need what? Nope. All oh, have to get connected. Yeah. So this is not connected. I don't know, you're kind of all the left field there. I'm going to be picking on you now. I'm picking on you now. You better pay attention. Okay, number 10 is saying identify an oiler circuit. Okay, so with the following graph. So if it's asking us to identify an oiler circuit, we must have a graph that has vertices with all even balance. Do we? No. No? Yes? Check it out. Matthew. And use what do we got? Are both these graphs have vertices and balances? 
The one on the left is good, so we're good here. We're good on both of them. Yeah, we are. No, we All right. Yeah, yeah. So one on the left, I'm just going to roll through it because it's going to make your eyes spin. You're not going to have to do something this complex on the test, okay? So if you start here, if you start here, this is going to be my A. You know, we can just go through this, right? There's another circuit. Now, I didn't write that down, but it's possible. You just kind of weave around and take care of one area and go to the next one. This one we'll, we'll write down. We'll write down this one. So put a vertex, C letter at each vertex. Where do you want to start? You got this canal? We're going to start canals. We're going to start, Andrew. You got, a, you got another circuit here? Possible. Not yet. You got, you got to get your feet wet. You got to just try it. You got, to get, you got to just try it. You got to get your hands dirty. You got one? A. A works? No, I'm at C. B. B. I want to start at B? Yes. Then what? Then go to C. C? Then go to C. All right. Yeah. Then go to E. Then go back to C. Then go to A. Then go back to E. Then go to F. Then go to A. Then go to B. Oh, you guys see that? I went to A three times. Yeah. That's okay. Oh. We can go to the vertices more than once. It's not the edge. It's not the edge. It's still it's the edges we can only travel once on. Okay. We're gonna visit the vertices more than once sometimes, and that's okay. That's okay. So that so so there is another circuit there. All the balances are even. Number 11, add wiggly edges. Remember, an edge can be curvy, wavy, straight, or wiggly, or squiggly. We had squiggly yesterday in one of our examples. Right, we got, we got odd balances on those outside edges. So what we're going to do to oilerize it, that's all we got to do. Efficient polarization is just squiggly line connecting those two vertices that have an odd balance. We're done. That's it. Did you know that? that you got, that's all you got to do. Yeah. It's not asking us to squeeze it in. It's not asking us to find the oil circuit. All we got to do is oilerize it. Cool, cool? No. Did you get excited, Alejandro? Isn't that exciting? No. Come on, man. All right. This one. They're changing the question on us. It's kind of fun. We're gonna we're gonna look at it the first way. So we have a street network and we have a garbage, a garbage route for tra tra trash collection. All right. So it says here that they can pick up both sides of the street uh, for trash by just drawing, driving down one street. So how are we gonna do this? We haven't talked about a problem like this. Now I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it, but we, we, well, how, what would the route be if we, if we just, if we just had to drive down the street and, and, all, and we pick up trash from both sides of the street, well, what would the route be? I'll go Go, go to the top and go down where? So now all this trash on this side we picked up. Now all this trash on this side is that both sides have been picked up. Wait, why don't you just? Yeah, what did you like know? Like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, what would you do? How would you approach it? Okay. Had a problem like this. Oh, this way. And then now. All right. So all the horizontal streets, the trash has been picked up. Now I don't have to go back up here because it. Well, I do because that one hasn't been picked up. Oh, no. Now I gotta wind back through. But and this and this hasn't been picked up. And this hasn't been picked up. And that, that hasn't been picked up either. What do I do? Okay. Is there a better way we can do that? Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't that seem over. inefficient? Start over. Doesn't that seem inefficient? What would you do? What what's your approach here? We haven't had a problem like this. Go in sections. Go in sections. So you're like thinking I should just zigzag, like I'm gonna start here and go around this block. No. Around this block, no. around this block. No. What are we doing? Is that what you mean? Oh. <laughs> Dizzy yet? Yes. Yeah. Sure. 
questions? Or well, I'm, I'm, I'm open. We haven't had a problem like this. I just want to. I want to hear what you guys think. Can, can't you just like okay? So can't you go all the way around? You want me to do perimeter? You want to go all the way around? Okay. All the way around. Okay. <laughs> what I do here though, I'm right. I gotta pick that edge. Then I gotta repeat this edge. Now what? Now what? You gotta be there. See, I don't know. Maybe. That's something different. We would we not have a problem like this. Is there another? Is another way we can do it? Oh, we're going like this. Oh, I still got to repeat. Can I back up the garbage truck? <laughs> Probably not. All right. Oh, you can't because so you guys see that that's that that's a question we haven't considered, but it, but it is one that we could uh, talk about. So when we were doing this problem, we we let's do it. Let's 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 change this. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just we're gonna draw a graph like we did to all our others because that's a good it's a good way to practice. So every intersection. Has a vertex, right? I'll move these down first, okay? I could take, I could take do this. Imagine. But to draw these little graphs, isn't that cool? Right? Isn't that cool? Isn't it at least good money? No. Isn't it at least good money? Yeah. Well, yeah. If you enjoy it, how much? If you enjoy your job, what does it matter what it pays? Really? Yeah. He's still gonna be able to make a living. Really? I mean, I want to be a psychologist, not a math teacher. Oh, well, maybe you have a lot of math teachers as your clients. No. Well, are, you, are you okay? I don't know. You want to talk about it? Sure. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Yeah. Well, I can always use a friend. A friend? Oh, you want to be a friend? No, I don't. Oh, all right. I'm going to be a friend anyway. All right. So that's kind of it. I'm not done, though. All right. I got to fill in my vertices. Oh, I missed one. Oh, I missed one. You're right. I missed one. Thank you. I missed the vertex. What? All right. That's an odd vertex, so I don't even know. All right. So now, when we did this, we, we we every side of the street was an edge, right? Every side of the street was an edge. So if we had two sides of the street, we, we put two edges there. There's just one side of the street there, one side of the street there, one side, one side. There's two sides of the street here. I'm just I just want you to practice here on how to draw these graphs. What did I do? Yeah, two over here. Right here? No, that's not one. Above. Above? That's only one. That's one. That's one. That's one. This is two. That's one. This is two. All right, there's our graph. So we drew that. Whoa, I missed one. I missed one right there. So that, that's the graph that we did. All right? So I, want, I just want to show you that's how it looks like. But we're not, we're not solving this and making another circuit out of it. I'm just making, I just want you guys to get comfortable drawing that graph. And you just, you just follow the rules and continue with it. All right, number 13. Last, last page. That was not, that was not really, a, you're not going to see anything okay. like that on the okay. test. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, so we got an edge walker technique. Find another circuit on the graph on the left. And use it to find the circuit on the graph on the right. So we're going to reuse four edges. Which, what edges are those? The ones that are the edges. What are you doing in here? Is that Diego? Yeah. I didn't catch you. All right. So what, what edges am I reusing? I otherize this. I otherize those vertices with an odd balance. So what edges are those that I'm reusing? Who can tell me? Well, this one, that one right there is I'm reusing. I'm gonna highlight it. That edge I'm reusing, this edge I'm reusing. And now look, it wants to find a circuit. 
All right, so this is that two way W's edge. Are you ready? Are yeah. you ready? Yeah. You're going to give me the circuit? No, we're not going to have that. Okay, cool. What circuit? You, 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 need, you need to see this twice? What, dude, what's going on? <laughs> Nothing. How come you didn't put the red right arrow on the top one? Oh, I missed, I, I missed it. I missed it. Thank you, Mikhail. I, I, man, without you, this class would be heading in another direction. Oh, my gosh, that's class. Oh my All right, ready? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna map this. I map this. You might map this in your class. It got, it got crazy. All right. So this is my A. Know that there's another circuit. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna do it. So we're gonna go down here. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna come back up, down and back, up. I'd already screwed up. I gotta go around. I gotta go around here. I gotta go around here. And back. And back. And then down. Back. Down and back. There. And back. So I kind of got myself in a little dead end. But, but that's the circuit. And I think we ended up with what? 21, 21 letters, which is stupid. You're not gonna have to do that on the test. Fourteen. Okay, your 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 handout is missing a, a vertex. Right here should be a vertex. All right? Those edges are connected there with that vertex. <laughs> so add the vertex in your in your handout. Number fourteen. We got a vertex missing. You there? Fourteen. Yeah. Right here. I need a vertex there. I need a vertex right here. The vertex. The vertex right here. It's missing. Vertex here. Here? Yeah. Top up in the attic. I'm getting a vertex in both those in both those graphs. Otherwise, we can't do this. Wow. Come on, man. I can just end it. You guys can do this as homework tonight. Yeah, yeah. All right. We, there is another circuit. We just got to we got to put our new our doubled up edges in here. So we're gonna double up those edges, and this one's not as bad. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to start at A. This one I'll write down. So I'm going to go up to B. And go down to B. Whoops. Down to B, back to B, back to C. So B, 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 C. All right. Now I can go to E, back to C. And then I can go to D to A. To F to E. So D to A to F to E. Right? Now I'm going to go to G. I'm going to go, back to, I go to F, go back to G, go back to A. So for me, I go to G, go to back to F, back to G. And I go to R. So that's another circuit. All right? So that's possible. 15. You guys should be able to give me three real world applications. Where are you going to use an Euler circuit? 
All right? We talked about a bunch of them. We talked about a bunch of them today. 16, you guys can all do this. Draw seven vertices where each vertex has a balance of four. You should be able to do that. All right? That means that there's four edges coming and going from a vertex, each vertex. All right? So I'll do number 17. That one's a little more complicated. If you've got a graph that's got a, a, an edge, you've got a, a, that's got a vertex that's got an odd balance, that's a dead end, right? That's how you get a vertex with a balance of one. <laughs> so I've done that one. I'll connect it. So I got two, I got three, I got to do four. I got two right now, I got, I got to add two more. There, that's your picture. That's one possible solution. Five more minutes. We're going to skip 18. Number 19, I want you to think about this. You've got a graph where every vertex has a balance of at least two. Okay? Every vertex has a balance of at least two. All right. Draw me a graph where I can remove one of the edges, and then what you have is a disconnected graph. Because this is what we're missing, at least two. So that's two or more. So that's what we were missing earlier. So, so what, 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 you guys got something? That's what I want you to work on uh, for the rain of the class period. And we'll, that's what we'll start on uh, tomorrow. Maybe I'll give you uh, some points on it for the test. All right, so I need to do attendance. The test coming out Friday, so I'll be here tomorrow. Okay. So we'll miss the test tomorrow. So you're gonna come during advisory to take the test? Yeah. Wait, when's the test? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Surprise. Did this sneak up on you? It's on my board. I was looking at, I don't know, I think my name is somewhere around. Hey, you're Monday. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. You're going to be ready for the shoes? Matthew, you're going to ace this? Yeah. All right. Canales, you're going to ace this test tomorrow? Sure. Sure, sure. Yeah. You advise me, you said? Oh, yeah. My name's Lisa okay, Kay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I, that's. That's yeah, so bad. Not Everyone's Just a chance. All right. I saw. Yeah. Yeah.
Did you want to see the test? Um, yeah, I have it online, but we're going to just print it. I got, I got 15 questions, and I'm not sure if I'm going to pick 14 or 12. I can do, I can do. So I can, I can maybe pick 12, 10, 10 for now, because they're, they're pretty, they're pretty straightforward. Um, What's that? <laughs> and like one of the questions is what we did today. <laughs> I can print. I'm gonna print it. I mean, I it's, it's an option. You can do it online, but then I'll have to set. I'll have to set it as uh, choosing ten. Anything is fine. Can you add me to Canvas? Yeah. As a co-teacher. Okay. <laughs> you did right now. Yeah. Well, let's see, Josh. Okay. All right. Yeah, but, add me as a co-teacher so that I can see the grade. Like usually the teachers add me as a. Um, How many times have you done this, Josh? Uh, twice. Twice. Why did you sign in? Hmm? JF. No, Joshua. So JF is Joshua Fitzgerald. No, I have this Josh. JF. That's Joshua Fitzpatrick. Yeah, Joshua. Oh yeah, you did, it, you did it three times. Good. Oh, three times. Got eighty nine percent on the third time. The first time I right now. Okay, I'll put it in. Anything else? Oh, anything else? I can push my code. It's only the first. Aces test room. I cannot do that. You cannot do that. Well, you get a B if I. You can get a B if I got it good enough. Hey man. If I can do this good enough though. Cause you. This is really hard to do. You, you, you kind of messed up on this. And then you didn't finish this question. There's three parts of the question. And uh, you didn't you didn't finish this one. All right? And uh, I don't know what you're doing here. But these are both wrong. Those are both wrong. Yeah. All right, so it, we'll, we'll take a look at it. I don't want you. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to put that grade in. That's, that's ugly. That's my grade. You got. You got. You got your. Uh, uh, you, have you been doing your notes? Yeah. Okay, because that's a quiz grade too. I gotta go upstairs. All right. I gotta do. Uh, I gotta do tardy station. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow.